Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTB. This is our final walkthrough looking at Vision Pro. So what we're looking at here is Jigspace. So I'm gonna click on Jigspace, gives us this great little tutorial that's based on uh, turbines. And so we might just press that and have a quick look at that. I'll do that one more time. I'm not using eye tracking at the moment. I'm gonna use my hands a little bit just so you can see what we're actually uh, clicking on. I'll use my eye tracking at some stages. So basically when you open up Jigspace, it looks for an anchor or a ground. And so once we've found that, we're basically going to tap or click and there we've got our engine and it's got a 3D presentation, beautiful graphics. We can work through, we can look around it. Um, the great thing about this is it's modeling real life better than a flat 2D static image. And what I can do here, it sends us through this tutorial where we've got animations built in, but it shows us how we can make bigger, how we can use both our hands. And I love this because it kind of, it, it kind of puts us through the processes of using our hand gestures and our spatial computing in an effective way. And what I can do is actually highlight different things on that and pull it apart. This is great for engineering. Um, Jigspace has got some amazing custom already built experiences that we'll have a look at in a minute. But I love the different things that Jigspace has incorporated into this native application for Vision OS because it allows us to go a little bit further and make use of these spatials. So you can see here, um, the graphics are amazing. I'm still in my uh, living room and I'm being able to kind of dismantle or pull apart different um, attributes and have a look at it. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is as I get closer to different elements, the light automatically shines on those little areas and kind of illuminates a little bit. There's some beautiful custom things that are kind of built in. And so it takes a little while to get used to just kind of moving things around for the first time. But as you become more uh, fluent, I guess, in, in Vision Pro and you start to kind of recognize the gestures a little bit, like I'm still learning, um, it becomes... Um, almost like second nature as you kind of get into this space as well. It's got some other really amazing things in Jigspace as well. It's got some tools that I didn't expect. Um, so it's got a little drawing tool that I'll show you in a minute that you can actually, if I was in this space with someone else, don't forget I might invite another persona and collaborate. But down here, if I go down here and just press on my kind of like a markup tool, that I can actually do pencil drawings in the air. So you can see here that I can draw, that's quite magical in itself. But when you bring that into the 3D design itself, you can start to highlight, you can start to um, create arrows and pinpoint different things. Um, I love the fact, and I haven't explored it yet, but we can jump in this same space with another person and our personas can come in so that I can see different people. This is gonna change the game in regard to industry training. Uh, for different, a lot of different industries. Um, but I do love the way that Jigspace has made use of some of this functionari functionality with, um, with drawing and some other tools as well. Uh, you can see here how much I'm zooming in. Um, absolutely love the different elements here. So when we look at Jigspace, okay, so this is kind of like the tutorial jig, right? That we go through to kind of learn out how to use them, uh, which is great. Um, but what about what else does it have? So it has a, a number of other models and experiences and 3D presentations already built into it. You can see there that it's got some settings there that we can start to play around with as well. Um, still getting used to some different things there as well. But if we have a look at, um, why don't we go to the gallery? You can see on the left-hand side there, there's a little gallery icon. I'll just go down again. There's a little gallery icon on the right side of, sorry, the left-hand side of our um, custom toolbar. So why don't we have a look at what else is there? Um, oh, by the way, I'll have a look at how you can access your control panel uh, in another tutorial. Um, so we, if we go back into Jigspace here, you'll notice that we can also look at all these other jigs as well. And so there's a lot of ones they're being built out as we speak. Um, the, the racing one is, is phenomenal. We've got um, beating hearts and a whole range of different things. But if I open up, say, the Mars experience, which I think has got some real benefits for the education sector, when a lot of schools are looking at um, what it's like on Mars, is it sustainable, how to build habitats and, and different things here, you can see here that um, we have things like Mars rovers. The thing that's really noticeable, too, as I kind of give you these walkthroughs as we go through, um, is the attention to decent detail in some of these models. In a past one, I've shown you actually how to, in Keynote, embed NASA 3D models. Um, there are some amazing things that are kind of popping through here that really give us some amazing detail. I don't think this video gives it full justice, 
but the, the intricate detail in the 3D models themselves go far beyond what I've normally viewed in augmented reality just through my iPad or iPhone. You can see here, I can pick and choose, I can select different elements and pull them out and, and really do maybe a, a see, think, wonder. Um, I could do some really great inquiry units about what that is. Um, I can look at the different sizes of it. Um, and as I mentioned before, we can also do a kind of 3D spatial annotating as well, which is super cool as we kind of go through. We can sort of um, identify different things and highlight different things as we go on. This is a really good example. I'm not sure if it's coming through, but as I get closer to the model, when I actually come in, a little bit of light kind of illuminates the part that I'm looking at with my eye tracking. I'm not sure if that's a deliberate thing. Um, I don't think it is, or it could be a deliberate thing, but I think it's really effective in, in regard to how it's been done. So we wanted to give you a quick look at Jigspace. We wanted to give you a look over this Vision Pro series at a range of different apps that you can be using that you might already use in your workflows. And now it just gets that little bit enhanced or quite a lot enhanced through the Vision Pro itself. So Vision Pro, uh, we know has lots of attributes, lots of strengths, lots of things to work on still. But I love the fact that we don't have to build native applications. There are already some really great apps already built in to the Vision Pro itself as we go through. This is Paul Hamilton here for using technology better. And there's our control panel. We'll stop recording.